In the last video, I pointed out this yellow line segment to you. It's called a tax wedge. It is made up of these two line segments, one representing the consumer's burden of the tax and the other one representing the producer's burden of the tax. Now this tax wedge is a very important visual tool because just by looking at this tax wedge, we can obtain a lot of information about the tax. What kind of information? For example, the height of the tax wedge, it's between 265 and 165, that's why it's equal to one dollar. The height tells us the tax amount. What is the per unit amount of tax? One dollar. Also notice that the tax wedge fits very snugly between the demand and supply curves to the left side of the equilibrium. So if you want to find the tax wedge, all you need to do is draw a line segment that whose height is equal to the amount of the tax and that fits between the demand and supply curves. What other information can you get from the tax wedge? Well, the, the position of the tax wedge on the x-axis tells you the quantity that is sold after the tax. Now what else? Pay attention to the top end of the tax wedge, this height of $2.65. What is this 2.65? It is the price that the consumer pays after the tax. And this is true in general. The top end of the tax wedge will always give you the price paid by the, ta by the consumer after the tax. Similarly, the bottom end of the tax wedge, this height of 165, it's going to give you the price received by the producer after the tax. So the top end, price paid by the consumer, the bottom end, price received by the producer. What else? Now notice that the tax wedge is cut into two parts by this line that indicates the old equilibrium price of two dollars. The top part of the tax wedge recall is what? It's the consumer's burden of the tax. The bottom portion of this tax wedge is the producer's burden of the tax. So if you want to know who is facing how much burden, all you got to do is look at the top and the bottom portions of the tax wedge and you will know what is the consumer's burden and what is the producer's burden. So once again, the tax wedge is a very important visual tool since it gives us a lot of information about what happens after a tax. Where can you find a tax wedge? Once again, it's fit snugly between the demand and supply curves and its height is equal to the amount of the tax.